Today I'm trying turmeric and rice. We are doing a collaboration video. Her link would be in the end screen and in the comment section. So go check her out and all of the other members in this collaboration. So in her video she used maggi but i don't use that so i went outside and i picked some fresh seasonings and i'm going to use that to flavor the pot along with she also used i also dig up some turmeric and i use some ginger some garlic and coconut milk she used water i use coconut milk so that's the only difference she used water i use coconut milk i did not use any maggi cubes i just use the natural seasonings that i have outside in the yard because i really don't use maggi seasoning so i don't have those things so i use what i have and i am going to chop give everything a rough chop and i am going to use my slow cooker so what she did she put some hot water in on the rice and she let that sit meanwhile i cut up all of the seasoning so i'm going to use my slow cooker and cook this so we're gonna add the oil my slow cooker have been preheating so it's really hot at this moment so now i'm going to put in the onion fry the onion and garlic and to my coconut milk i add turmeric and black pepper and salt so i'm going to add in my washed rice that i had soaking in the hot water and then i'm going to add raisins i wish i had added more because i love how the raisin tastes in this oh my gosh it really really adds a lovely flavor to this so once everything is combined well, I'm going to add the seasonings that we picked outside. Not all I chopped. I left things like the dill and the tarragon whole and also the small time I left whole. But the rest of the seasoning, I chopped, rough chopped, mixed it in. And now we're going to add our coconut milk but we're just going to let that cook down for a little bit before we add our coconut milk now we're going to add our turmeric and coconut milk mixture put it on low and let that simmer for the rest of the night oh and you want to make sure and taste the salt to make sure it is tasting good and remember you're going to add salted butter so you want to be careful all right all right then see you tomorrow now I'm going to add my butter and a tablespoon of freshly grated ginger. My suggestion, if you're cooking it in a slow cooker at this point, after putting the butter, don't cover it back, leave it open so it will dry down properly, right before serving. But other than that, it was really good. When I took out the first serving, I decided, you know what? Let me leave it open and dry it on some more and then i had some more of this and woo, delicious so <laughs> don't forget to check out her video it will be in the comment section and there are three other members who's doing collaboration with other awesome rice dishes their videos will also be in the comment section so this is how it would look if you don't leave it covered right so i don't like a sappy sappy rice so what i decided to do at this point was to put it back into the slow cooker leave it open and leave it open for about an hour and look at the transformation this is what it looks like after i put it back in the slow cooker but leave it open and put it on just to keep warm and i left that there and look at the difference mm -hmm. guys this thing was so full of flavor natural flavors from all the green seasoning look check out the series videos here check them out